Okay, we're going to uh, capture me logging into a wireless access point and I'm going to show you how to find out the credentials and this is all based on how that HTTP session is set up and you'll see what I mean as I go along. So the first thing I did was I set up my little packet bookmark that I like to use. This one I called obviously ping Google. Uh, the thing I did here that was a little different was I assigned the shortcut key control shift G. So whenever I hit control shift G boink there's your uh, there's your pings. So what I'm gonna do is bring up Wireshark. I'm gonna start a brand new capture on my uh, wireless interface. Let's see here. So if you can't find your wireless interface sometimes because it says Microsoft, we'll just go to capture interfaces and from there you'll see it just came off the screen here. You'll see which IP has your um, uh, network address as opposed to that 169254 Microsoft automatic address. In this case I've got both. So um, I know my machine's going to prefer to use my USB Ethernet adapter than my docking station. So we're going to use that one. So I'm going to start my capture. And then from there I'm going to go to Internet Explorer and I'm just simply going to press enter. And there's my prompt. So now I can either remember it's packet 11 or I can do one of my pings. So there's my ping in the background. In the meantime, I'll type UBNT, UBNT. That's my password and my pass, uh, my login and my password, excuse me. And there's my login. So I'll get rid of that. And now we've got two options. We can either go to packet 11 and move around, or we know here's the pings. And then shortly after the pings, we know that we sent a command. So there's my HTTP get command. If I turn on my packet details, you'll see down here it'll have the credentials. Now UBNT is not being transmitted on the wire. Wireshark is um, interpreting or decoding uh, that to ASCII for you. So if I look at the packet bytes for example and I select UBNT UBNT you'll see that there is no real UBNT in here. It's this basic in this case DWJ blah 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 so this is neat. I can actually figure this stuff out. Again, depending how the HTTP session is configured. If this was HTTPS, well, that'd be a whole lot of ball of wax. So in this case, uh, that might help you out in the field. And that's it. Have a good day. Bye for now.